earlier this year I posted a recipe for a slow cooker dish that was so popular it's been shared that many times on social media I've lost count. So today I'm doing a bit of a sequel. I'm doing another Chinese restaurant favourite that is incredibly easy to reproduce at home. You are going to absolutely love it. Let's make this beautiful slow cooker beef and broccoli on the One Pot Chef. First things first, we're going to start on our sauce. Into a jug, I'm adding a quarter of a cup of brown sugar, two cloves of garlic, which have just been minced up, half a cup of soy sauce, a quarter cup of oyster sauce. This is a nice, thick, savoury sauce, which doesn't exactly taste like oysters, but it does help to give a very distinctive flavour to certain Southeast Asian dishes. One and a half tablespoons of sesame oil, which has a beautiful toasted sesame flavour and it really packs a punch. And one cup of beef stock or beef broth. Give that a good stir together. Then set aside. Next into the pot of the slow cooker, I'm going to add 700 grams or about one and a half pounds of beef, which I've just cut into thin strips. One small brown onion, which I've peeled and diced. And pour over our sauce mixture. Give everything a quick stir together to ensure everything's nicely coated. And all that's left to do is to allow this to cook. Pop the lid on and set it on low for four to five hours or on high for about two and a half hours. This is already smelling amazing and we're not even finished yet. Just taking the lid off. Oh, you can see the meat is already cooking really nicely. Now to that, we're going to add something to thicken that sauce up to make it lovely and rich. So we've got three tablespoons of corn flour or cornstarch, my American friends. And I've just mixed that in a cup with three tablespoons of water and we're just going to pour that in. Give that a quick stir. And it wouldn't be beef and broccoli without, of course, our broccoli. So I've got one head of broccoli, which I have just broken up into florets. And we're just going to pop that in. Give that another stir just to make sure the broccoli's submerged in the sauce. And all we need to do is put the lid back on and allow this to cook for another 30 minutes or until the broccoli is tender. Succulent strips of slow cooked beef, a delicious sauce and tender broccoli. Serve with rice, noodles, or even just by itself. This is a meal that everyone will love. This smells absolutely divine. You have no idea how much I'm looking forward to trying this. Mmm. Oh my. Mmm. <laughs> That's beautiful. The beef is wonderfully tender, it just melts in your mouth, it is absolutely amazing. The broccoli is tender and the sauce. It's salty, it's sweet, it's got such a wonderful savoury flavour. You can really taste the sesame in it, it's absolutely divine. Well I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Check me out on social media or on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram and of course OnePotChefShow.com. And until next time, see you later. Not a fan of broccoli? Feel free to leave it out and replace it with your favourite stir-fry veg. Snow peas would be a great choice. You could slice some thinly sliced carrots, capsicum or red bell pepper. Lots of different options on this one and it is absolutely delicious.